Dave, Fadroy with Chalkadi, Kitty Kanish in the Scots of Fell of Lima, in Barty Creek. August Shaw, Monte Kanish, DG, Fell of Capper. August Talk, Bonna Marta, August Colonel Shunta, Farm Ringham of the Chalk. For the Farm of Goose, the Brahim Grace Hallward. The Redolf Efo Cannon. The Ritchie, Hilo Sullivan. The Ritchie, Cahar, Anna Moriarty. The Ritchie, Cui, Esme O'Hanna. The Ritchie, Co-Captain, Anna Scanny. The Ritchie, Shock, Paul O'Connor. The Ritchie, Hawks, Co-Captain, Emily Bushen. The Ritchie, Lily May Healy. The Ritchie, Jane McCarthy. The Rahania, Isabel White. The Redonia, Alex Brennan. The Retrinia, Sophia Regan. The Ricardia, Sarah Knowles. The Recuidia, Greva Mockley. The Rishadia, Ashley Kelly. The Rishakia, Kate Rahel. The Rahokia, Casey O'Brien. The Renania, Kira Parker. And the Silver Affair, Car Watch. For Bonamarta Casamara. The Brahim, Rachel Magno. The Bredou, Billy Anstra. The Brahim, Athena McKenna. The Brahim, Casey Kremen. The Brahim, Poo Collins. The Brahim, Co Captain, Olivia Field. The Brahim, Co Captain, Alain Ifa Tiffer. The Rahogs of Grace Forest. The Rene Sean O'Manny. The Rene Claude Walsh. The Rahania Gia Cal. The Redonia Clara Matin Dave. The Virginia Clara Murphy. The Recarbe Searcy and Wright. Cunia Ava Collins. Shania Kate Casey. Shakti of Emilia Vance. Octavia Eber Costigan, Nadia Lily Morgan, Fahe Elekinir, Fahe and Rubio Canan, Fahe Do Kayla O'Donovan, Fahe Chi Leila O'Brien, Fahe Karen Evie Connington, Fahe Kuin Eva O'Regan, Fahe Shi Amy Lynch, Fahe Shaw. Antonina Tisula. Fellow host, Saoirse Parker. Fellow host, Saoirse Harvey. August Tucker, Nadia Wink. Nadia. Oi, girls, look at me now. Look at me. Perfect. Your captain, whoever's your... Into the... <laughs> well, okay. Are you alright? Yeah, perfect. Okay. okay. So, it's good evening, Liv. Well done. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, you've found the call. That's head and that's harp. Is that alright? Okay, here we go. Oh, do you like head or harp? Um, we have heads. Heads, you can have Oh, we're going in. Take two. And you went for? Heads. Heads. And heads it is. So, um, how many would you like to play? Yeah. Okay, okay, as you are. Alright, best of girls. Thank you. Eve a good news, I guess fall to Rov and Sean of Gadi Parky Kui for the Girls Section 4 football final featuring Farm and Castle Marker. And the game has just started, the ball has been thrown in by Column Lyons, and it's uh, Farm making the first 
uh, Foray up in up the field and it's number nine with the ball there. Ever Ever and I um Lily Mayhealy. Lily Mayhealy playing it across but is won by Castle Marta. Balnamatra coming down the field with the red jerseys. Nice ball in there now, number nine for Balnamatra, Sean O'Many. Sean O'Many, she has the ball. She gives it back out here to Ever. Uh, oh, but it's just gone out over the line and wide. I think I can't see with the with the long hair what number is on her back, but it was just a. Um, um, it went a bit astray at the end and it's a wide ball and uh, Ca Castle Marter are playing with the breeze in this first half great kick out there by the farm goalkeeper Gracie Al Albert Gracie Albert down the wing but it's uh, picked up over there by um, looks like uh, Emily Bushel she's the captain she kicks it in here it's going to be uh, I think it's uh, Mill Millie Ansborough Millie Ansborough coming out of the death for Castle Marter Colin Lyons keep it close I know what's happening over there and Castle Marter coming down the field good ball up here towards I think it's Grace Forrest Grace Forrest over here nice ball in as well she's picking it in they have 2-1 to one here but it's well cut out over here by Aoife Callan and Aoife Callan plays the ball down but they've lost it again and it's now with Castle Marter right across the goals but well defended there number 10 is going for it for Castle Marter 10 is Claude Walsh Claude Walsh uh, playing it in playing it into the corner the girl the corner girl is going for score but she's hit the netting but it's I think the side not the referee had blown the whistle and um, it's a free into Castle Marter and uh, Colin Mines had that whistle blown and we'll see can we see who's going to be taking that free over there and um, it's taken and it's put over the bar I think nice free nice kick and it's one point to Castle Martin the opening uh, of this game yeah, kick out taken by Grace Albert Grace Albert uh, oh, but it's won again by the Castle Martin girls over there by Brooke Holland Brooke Holland is going along the line and it is uh, in there by Ephraim Clifford Ephraim Clifford she's trying to play it back out but uh, the farm girls have defended well on this occasion uh, but again Castle Martin they're looking nippy and dangerous but they do have the breeze shot towards the goals defended there by um, Esme, Esme O'Hanlon Esme O'Hanlon uh, get it out uh, Fan now uh, playing it out the field and a Skelly and a Skelly uh, to Ailia, Ailia Sullivan and now it's a good ball up here to this side and it's been taken by Jane McCarthy Jane McCarthy to Isabel White but it's uh, still with Fan they're trying to get the ball in there's a chance here uh, it's pulled back around by I think there's Alex Brennan but it went to the left and wide so it's one score for Casimir to one point Fan no score Casimir to goalkeeper Rachel Magner Rachel Magner with a big long kick out to the middle of the field where it's got here by we'll tell you after by whom she's taken her shot she's kicked it wide and that was a good uh, run down there the middle by Esme O'Hanlon or by Brooke Holland but uh, the ball went right and it went wide so it's kicked out on the far side went to quick kick out there by Grace Albert Grace Albert and um, watch this ball she gets a touch there she did well Grace Albert because that was a dicey ball hopping in there it was kicked in over there by uh, Grace Forrest and it's over the bar and it's a point for Castle Martyr 2-0 in the opening stages of this game they got the kick out again Grace Elworth kicked it it was long but it was won by I think it was by Leah Cal. Leah Cal give it off over there to the far side and it is uh, oh it's still with I think it's a free in says the referee I think it could have been uh, Clara Matalebi Clara Matalebi well Casamarta made a good start to this game I think Barrow 2 will be quite happy uh, with that start Barrow 2 is being the, one of the managers of the Casamarta team and he and uh, his helpers uh, Barrow Tuma, Carmel Haynes and Sinead Bevan um, our, um, we'll be happy with the start their team has made they have the breeze but it's now free for Castle Marter over there and it's kicked right across the goal there was a dangerous little one it was kicked in there by I think by uh, Leah Cahill but it just went to the left and wide and it's now won by number 7 number 7 there is I think Eva Clifford Eva Clifford the joint captain where she takes a shot great save in there by Grace Aylworth Grace Aylworth was really alert to that ball coming in and it is now uh, picked up there by Eva Cahill Elias Sullivan is helping her out and it's going to be a 
free in again for Castamartyr. Uh, Colum Lyons has a judge, and uh, the siege is on again. Uh, Castamartyr have had most of the ball um, in this opening few stages, and it's kicked over the bar, and that's another point for Castamartyr. Three that was nicely put over there by and uh, Ivor and Sean O'Many, and it is now Castamartyr uh, three points. A uh, fan no score. Well, the kick out has gone slightly astray. Castamartyr coming again. I was with number eight. I think was. Um, uh, Grace Forrest but now it's a free for Farnan it's going to be taken by Anna Moriarty up there is Mia Hanlon and over here to this side I think she was almost being pulled but the referee is allowed to go on and they're going to be taken in here by Everashe Everashe is uh, Olivia Fielding she's a joint oh sorry see Anna Skelly Anna Skelly she's joint captain she the ball has been lost Farnan have it back however and it's with Everashe it's at number Anna Moriarty over to Ola O'Connell but it's gone to the left and right so it'll be kick out for Rachel Magner and the Castle Martyr goals. Five minutes gone, three scores for Castle Martyr, no score for Farron. Farron haven't really settled into the game yet. Perhaps uh, they were watching the boys in action and they got uh, maybe um, sidetracked by the boys' great success. They'll be trying to do the double here today. But at the moment they're down by three points to nothing, but it's early days and plenty of time for them to come back if they want to if they want to get back into the game. It's a line ball for Castle Martyr way over there on the far side of the field. It'll be taken by Millie Ansborough. She's sizing up her options. Maybe she'll give to to Tina McKinney or crazy uh, Casey Kremen, but she doesn't. She goes long, big long high ball. Nice, oh, well cut out there by by um, uh, Elia Sullivan of Farm. She's uh, just in, was in the right place at the right time. She plays around Dan Moriarty and Moriarty to six sixes. Anna Skelly, Anna Skelly with any night Skelly. She has to be good. Uh, if she's into team or Skelly. Well, then she'll be very very good. And uh, the ball is going to go way out over to the right and wide. However, well. Um, I suppose a lot of these girls here with Farm would be playing ladies football with Aerog. Very, very good senior team down there in Aerog. Very unlucky to lose their county final this year to um, Morn Abbey. And uh, that ball has gone to the right and wide. And uh, uh, one of their top players, of course, being Emer Scully. Maybe Elia is. Um, related to her uh, we might find that out later on maybe Anna is related to her anyway it's a kick out on the far side and it's gone out over the line and it's a it's a line ball for Farm. Esme O'Hanlon is um, is going to take it I think over there uh, it's a bit uh, uh, she plays it down the line trying to get her into 6-6 six, six being Anna Skelly Anna Skelly is the danger player I feel and she holds a lovely ball here across they're trying to walk it back 10-10 ten, ten over to Jane McCarthy Jane McCarthy the shot has gone to the right I think by Isabel White and it's gone wide or co it could have been Alex Brennan I'm not 100% sure sometimes it's hard to see the numbers with the, the lovely long hair flowing down their shoulders but it's on the number of the jersey and it's hard to make out but anyway we'll follow the play Passing after have it they're going to attack it looks to me like it's Leah Ka oh it's uh, oh it's well dispossessed but the referee judges that it's tip pulled out of the hand and I think it's going to be Sean O'Manny could be kicking this again there she goes she's wasted no time she's kicked it and it looks to me like that's another point for free taker supreme yes it is number nine it is Sean O'Manny she's the girl taking the freeze for Castle Martyr uh, kick out is now with number 11 Ivory and Diakal Diakal nice ball over there to Clara Martin Levy Martin Levy is going to the hand she kicks she scores now another score well, Castle Martyr, Castle Martyr might be more famed for hurling down there when the players of the uh, statue of Kieran Joyce in their ranks at this moment. But they're certainly able to play football too. And they're certainly able to play ladies football at the moment. They're really rampant. They've gone five points up. But they do have the breeze. So we'll have to give the family a chance that maybe when, you know, if they can just keep going, maybe get a score. Oh, that's a great ball in. Oh, they've got a good chance here. They have a chance of a score. Shot taken. Well blocked. Brilliant defending there by Millions. But Athena McKenna out here to the side. But family are still coming. They have not undaunted. Shot here by number six. A good chance but it's put out for a 45 Ivory Shea was Olivia Fielding she took her shot she, or sorry Ivory Shea was Anna Skelly and she took the shot but it was blocked on the, on the defence there by Casey Kremen and it was bounded off Brooke Holland and it went out wide but it's a quick line or a quickly taken here nine by Lily Mahili and it's gone over to the left she gave it in there to Jane McCarthy but eventually the shot came in and it went wide 
Now, it's a kick out. It's Rachel Magna. Rachel Magna kicking long. And she has found her player. It looks like Sarah Manny to me. Sarah Manny. She's the go-to girl here, I think. And she gets it in there. Nice bounce. Broke inside. Is the goalie going to come out? She does. It comes off the post. Good save first, but it came off the post. And then it's gone wide. The follow-up went to the left and wide. Well, that was danger, dangerous. Leah Cahill and Clara Mott and Libby uh, combined with Claude Walsh to create the chance. Anyway, quick kick out by Grace Aylward. She kicks it up the line here number uh, Efo Callan Efo Callan out to uh, uh, Skelly Skelly or the and a Skelly and a Skelly uh, the ball has been lost over and it's won over there by Brooke Collin Castle Martin around the attack again but it's going to be cut out there by Ivertry Elia O'Sullivan Elia O'Sullivan does very well kicks it up the line but it's gone out over the line and it is going to be a line ball for Castle Martyr. As I said, they have the breeze, but they have five points up as well. Good scoring by them. They deserve their lead. They are on top. They are sharper, but it's early days yet, as I said, and I'm sure that Stephen Nehan and Michelle Den Lee, the Fatten mentors, will have a plenty to say to their team if they can get him into the halftime break without conceding a goal. Then they'll have plenty of advice to give to their team for the second half and they'll have the breeze. Now Casamarta getting in here with a with a long line ball, but as well read right in there by Elias Sullivan. Elias Sullivan clearing it out here to this side towards Esme O'Hanlon. And Moriarty is there as well. And Moriarty does well. She goes down on the ball. But it's uh Ivrahim Diog for Castamarta put her under pressure and that was Leah Cal. But it is up the field. She's trying to get it in. I think it's Sophia Regan is in there. Oh, but it's cut out there by Ivra Shot of Castamarta. If it Clifford the joint captain, she did well. She has got it now. Nice long ball in here to the corner by her. And she's trying to make it into Sophia Manny, but she can't keep it in. It was just a little bit too long. And I think it was more the wind than anything that took that ball away out over the line and wide. 11 minutes 40 gone there's no letting up here in this game it's up and down the field Grace Aylward Grace Aylward give it over there to you for Callan Elia Sullivan out to the far side Elia Sullivan but it's taken now by Casey Kremen she kicks it away down here it's uh, won by oh, Olivia Feeling Brooke Holland has it too she kicks it in this is a dangerous ball but again the goalie is rather um, safely and rather intuitively Grace Aylward decided to let that ball run wide probably wise in the circumstances they're down and they're against the wind so I think she needs to just slow things down a bit here and the ball has come up here with Kesson after life but I think it's Sophia Regan Sophia Regan get it now for fun they need a score before half time maybe it would settle them down greatly but they're not going to get a score there because number 7 uh, Eva Clifford the joint captain has broke it up she gives it out there to Grace Forrest Grace Forrest now has given it over here to good girl she's going oh but a great save in there by Grace Aylward she kept her eye on that ball as again through a forest of players to her she did very well with the kick out oh has been one there really won well there by Esme O'Hanlon Ten Moriarty she kicks it up <coughs> way down the field as far as she can but on the other hand side it's Athena McKenna Athena McKenna has been fouled column lines awarding a free to Castle Martyr on their own 20, 40 metre line I think it'll be taken over there by Brooke Collin it could be Olivia Fielding from here but it, uh, is she going to come back no the goalie is coming all the way out the goalie is coming out uh, Rachel Magner is coming way out the field to take this kick and she lofts it left foot right into the middle. It's a good kick and it's into the danger zone. And it's got a touch of a hand defender. It's very close to the end line. Well kept in there by Ethel Callan. Ethel Callan is playing her heart out here to Elio. Uh, she tries to get the ball to Elio Sullivan. That was great defending. She gets a great ball up here to six to uh, Aniskali. Aniskali playing it in, but it's read in there by Millie Ensborough. Ensborough of the Castle Martyr. I think she's earned the free, but she hasn't really. Uh, it's number six, Scally again. Scally, it's now with number 13 I think 13 is Sophia Regan I'm check because it's up coming already and to 9 9 with a long ball into the left but it's gone wide by Lily May Healy and and it's I'm not sure again a hair over the jersey is hard to see there's 14 is definitely in for um, 14 is on the field um, and that is um, Sarah Knowles Sarah Knowles is in there and it's now on the far side and I think it's Chris Casey Kremen big long ball down raking ball cut out over there by Aoife Callan Aoife Callan to Elia Sullivan again it's now in the middle of the field where it's won by Olivia Fielding Olivia Fielding has been uh, the judge have been over carrying 
right from column lines and it's a free up for Farn. Free up for Farn is taken by Orla Connell. Orla Connell, nice ball into the middle, but it's cut out there by uh, Aoife Clifford, the joint captain, to create group. Oh, dangerous ball in. Is there a score here? But no, there is Z for Kelly and again for for Farm. No, that wasn't. That was Anna Murray after great little clearance by her. But Castle after have it back in the danger zone, as it were. They're in front of the goals. They're only 14 to 15 metres out. Again, a shot for goal. But again, a great save by Grace Aylesworth. And Grace Aylesworth, even though she's kicked it out over the line, she's been doing very, very well for, for Farm and goals. She's made a couple of good saves. She's touched one over the bar. A really dangerous ball. Last chance to get another score for Castle Martin. They're well on top. They're up 5 0. But uh, dangerous ball in across. And again, uh, Ailes worked is there great goalkeeping as she punches that ball to you but now it's cut by Castle Martyr corner forward and it was Leah Cal or Clara Marat uh, Leby over there I'm not quite sure who but it's gone to the right and gone wide it is five points to zero if Farron get in at five points to zero they might be happy enough they have been under the cosh they have been under pressure Castle Martyr five Farron zero uh, but I wouldn't say that Farron are without hope for the second half. They have fought valiantly so far, and maybe with the wind, they'll just make a few changes. Maybe Stephen Deanne and Michelle Dunley, as they did with the boys, will work the miracle at half time and get them going for the second half. And this game, there's still plenty to play for, but Castle Martyr in the ascendancy at five points to nil at the end of the first half. We're all ready for the start of the second half of this. Um, Division 4 girls football final here in Parky Creeve. The ball has been thrown in and Castle Martin win it already. Olivia Fielding there uh, plays it out here to this side, but it is now won very well here by uh, Orla O'Connell. Orla O'Connell plays it down the side and it might be kept in here by Isabel White. Isabel White does well, kicked it in across and it's on the end line. Farron could do with the first score of the second half. It's all to be won for here. Uh, but they have the ball. Ivor Cardig has it for Fan. Ivor Cardig, I'll tell you who she is in a moment. Uh, to nine. Nine trying to spread the play out here. She spreads it out a good bit. Ivor Cardig is Sarah Knowles and she is in there for Fan. Uh, but the ball is being cleared by Castle by Castle down the side. Well won there by full back though. Um, Elia Sullivan far. Um, Fan. But again, uh, Ivor Cardig is over there. Casey Kremen. Casey Kremen uh, winning it for Castle Martyr. Cut out now by Ivory Shot D for Clifford. Ivory Clifford down the side. Down the side to five to, 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 to Grace Forrest. With long ball in towards the goals, but it's gone to the right and it is gone wide. Well, Castle Martyr are starting off the second half uh, with serious intent again. They're up to five to nil, as I said. Uh, uh, Grace Albert or Albert for Farnwood. will find long kick out now, and it's number six, Anna Skelly. Anna Skelly is trying to book down her way down the middle. Uh, the ball is on the deck, as it were. It's there to be won. Who's going to go down that? Uh, Farn player is down there. It's a bit of a shamaz. It looks like a rugby rock. The referee has raised his hand, and I think he's going to throw it into the. He's going to throw it in. A column lines experienced referee um, being well aided and abetted here today by the boys of uh, boys and girls of um, Glenmore Community School who are doing umpire and of course Crosshaven boys who are doing the linesmen and now it is Casamartar on the attack and over here is Claude Walsh Claude Walsh 9 10 7 and again I think it's Eva Clifford over here again to 9 9 is Sean O'Malley Sean O'Malley got some nice points in the first half well cut out though great defending super defending here by Efo Callahan Efo Callahan has been uh, the referee has blown the whistle and I think he is going to give a 45. The ball has been adjusted, have gone out over the end line. 45 far. It's going to be taken for Castle Martin, the and, um, and it's yet another 45. Well, it was taken by Sean O'Malley. She got it in, it got a touch, and it is now uh, two 45s in quick succession. Sean O'Malley again for Castle Martin to take this 45. Well, She's taken it in, it's in danger zone, but again, that goalie, Grace Aylward, well, she's played really well for Farron here today. She saves the day again and uh, gets the ball out the field, but dispossession of the highest order by Cassie Martyrs, Leah Cal, I think. Lovely little pass in, but one back there now by Elio Sullivan. She's having a great game at back there as well. But, oh, she slipped there, number nine slipped as she was coming out with the ball, number nine is Lily Mahili. Cassie Martyr have it, it's Sophia Mahili. She's dangerous, she gives it to Mahili, 
Millie Mahid goes for a shot and it's Grace Aylward again. Twice she saved it. First she saved the shot. The rebound came out to the Castle Marta Collar forward. I think it was uh, Clara Martinevi. But she reacted by punching it cold words. But again, Grace Aylward was equal to the task. And she managed to keep, I think, to keep Farn in the game. Because there's 18 minutes gone. They still have to score. Uh, the line ball taken by Castle Marta's number seven. Ever a shot deep for Clifford, joint captain. She gets it in there into the corner forward to Clara Martinevi. But Farn defending stoutly and Murray Arty tears my hand in. but the ball is again with, with O'Mahony and she's trying to wind up for a shot because she's well able to take a shot but the uh, uh, fan defenders are equal to it now it's never a shot with a shot and a goal oh great goal never a shot never a shot never a shot is Aoife Tipper leading as a captain should lead bang great shot across the goal across the, uh, right into the corner thoroughly deserved goal great goal by the joint captain Aoife Clifford. And herself and Olivia Fielding, the other joint captain, have been instrumental today in putting Castle Martyr in a strong position. Well, the Castle Martyr coach, Barra Thuma, and his teachers, fellow teachers, um, Carmel Haynes and Sinead Bivan, will be very happy with. Uh, that goal and Barra of course himself no stranger to top flight uh, games as he was uh, Cork Intermediate Hurler in his day and um, this that has given them a great uh, Philip now as they lead by 8 points with Farron need to score they're making an effort to get one now 14 is Sophie Knowles Sophie Knowles it is now with I think um, Jane McCarthy Jane McCarthy trying to get the ball in but he's been won in there by Athena McC McKenna Athena McKenna out to the middle Cassim after off again way over there is Bru Collin Bru Collin now into the middle I think it could be Aoife Clifford she puts it long into the eye they've got 2-1 in here they've got a chance they're going to her end they're going she's going for the shot right across the goals whoa that was Leah Cahill I think right across the goals but no it's going to be one here over it's going to be Elio Sullivan and Moriarty down the wing and Moriarty give it there to we'll see in a moment will it be one here by uh, Farndell they need to get in Knowles Knowles does very well to give to Orlo Connell Orlo Connell's going in good pass by her never a shot shot save great save by Rachel Magner in the Castle Martyr goals well that was the first real decent effort that Farndell have made to get a goal and indeed they've had a couple of shots for points but uh, speculative efforts but they have a 45 it is now here they badly need a score from this I'm sure I can't see the number but I would bet it's Anna Skelly will kick it uh, we'll check with for you afterwards when she has kicked the ball is it Anna Skelly and it's gone over the bar a badly needed score for Fan. that makes it 1-5 to 1 point so uh, is there going to be a comeback if there is they need to start moving because they're down 8 to 1 and they need to get a few scores but it's Casamarta Casamarta with 13 13 give it in to uh, 13 give it to Larry Murphy but uh, that was um, Tara Murphy 13 is in for Casamarta and nice ball in and now it's number 5 she's going in towards the goals oh great pass across here a certain goal is it no is it no great save again by Grace Aylward well that was a super pass across by Ivor Akui Boo Collin absolutely brilliant and she got it right into the corner where lurking was Clara Matalibi I think well she took her shot but it was brilliantly defended uh, by the goalkeeper brilliantly saved by the goalie I'll say um, Grace Aylward and well uh, she is doing her utmost to keep her team in the game it's a uh, Kicked in there, but it's taken by Ivory Tree. Elio Sullivan. Elio Sullivan now could they get the ball down because that was the goalie. The goalie is not in. If if Cam can get the ball in fast, the goalie still isn't in, but they're not getting it in fast enough. They're still going toe to hand through the middle. They've won a free. Well, that was interesting because uh, Rachel Magner has a fine kick of the ball. She came out to take the 45. It dropped short, and she was in a mad frantic race to get back to her goals. She got back, but by the time she got back, it was a free in for Farm. They've got their second point. They've got a second point. Is the comeback on? Is the comeback on? That's what I'm wondering. It's 8-2. to two. They have the breeze. They've got two points in a row. They need to get the next score or two. Kassim after the nippy. They really move the ball very fast. And here they're going now. Throw the hand up the middle. But it has been blocked up there by Esme O'Hanlon. Esme O'Hanlon but it's still with seven. And that's all uh, for Clifford. Aoife Clifford. Uh, back here to 11. I think is Leah Cahill. Cahill is looking for somebody to give this ball. She doesn't want to give it away. No, that was number eight. Actually, Grace Forrest. And she gives it to seven. Which is Olivia Fielding. Fielding now. Kick in over here is it kept in it's kept in she was on the line she kept it in and uh, it's now right in there in 
front of the goal they're trying for a goal she wisely kicks it back out and they go for a goal again and they've got it they've got it well I was saying maybe it'd be wiser to put the ball over the bar but this girl the number 8 number 8 number 8 is Grace Forrest she kicked it through a forest of players there was a load of them on the, behind her but she managed to get it into that corner giving Grace Aylworth the great goalie from Farm. no chance Farm are coming down the field they need a score will they get in for the score themselves it's just run away a little bit over there but kept in play valiantly by I think Lily Mayhealy and it's now been played over across here to Jane McCarthy she kicks it across again good work here by Farm. they're trying to make the most of, of their limited possession they're going for it they need a goal and they've got it they've got it great shot by I'll tell you in a moment great shot by Verashe Scally who else well great shot at least I'm pretty sure it was her and that brings him right back in again so it's 2-5 to 1-2 well it's a two kick game two score game two goals it is of course which is six points that's a lot but a goal any time might lift you and uh, with about six minutes left they will not want to let Castlemar to score again who are now heading for goal and it's 7 to 14 I'll tell you who they are in a moment and it's being played back out Castlemar are good at playing the ball back out 7 is blocked down oh great defence by Farm. 7 was great Eva Clifford she gave it to Sir Shane Wright but she couldn't get through the packed Farm defence. No, Farm are going for attack. They need the next score badly. If they get it, it might put the cat among the pigeon. We could see a sensational comeback. Who knows? They get it across, but there's three or four Castle players there defending the goals. Casey Kremen and Brooke Holland being two of them. Great ball up to have it again. There's number eight, and it's Grace Forrest. Grace Forrest, but it's now cut out there by uh, Orla O'Connell and Moriarty too. Um, uh, seven uh, Eva Clifford she's playing her heart out for Castamarta getting it up the field oh she gets it here too but there's only one one three Castamarta girls one firm defender the Castamarta girls are going for goal again they have three and two here if they can get it in they do will they get it in to the net they won't it's well defended well defended by Anne Moriarty but it's still with Castamarta they're still going for a score and it is kicked by oh it's well kicked by I think it was Sean O'Malley no it wasn't it was I think Olivia Fielding anyway it's a point for Casamarta and that's all that matters it's 2-6-1-2 two, two, two. they're coming again nice ball over here to the far side and that is popped over the bar again this time I think by uh, Leah Cahill and the scores are coming fast and thick here and whatever hope Farm had of a comeback I think has been uh, knocked on the head by that reply from Castle Marta Castle Marta's Casey Crimmin doing her best to get that ball he runs away from her and goes to that girl uh, Grace Forrest she's playing her heart out she gives it away though and uh, I see balls going flying and boots going flying uh, through the air as, but it's uh, on we go Farm need a score they need the next goal they're making every effort to get it and they've got oh they have and it just went wide they needed a goal they were very unlucky Ever and they got in there Lily May Healy she did everything right except just the finishing touch wasn't just inside the post it was outside it that little bit of danger maybe it's a warning for Casamarta that this game is not over yet and that Farm are going to keep fighting here till the final whistle yeah and he, Anna Scali has it Anna Scali their inspirational player um, and captain she is still going strong she gives it now to nine nine is still going strong and it's Lily May Healy she gives it inside cut to 12 get a goal cut she oh it's gone over the back well there was a goal on but as she kicked it Alex Brennan as she kicked it I think she was just um, will I say um, uh, just pulled slightly but not enough to give a free and uh, it went over the bar her foot raised and over the bar it went Farm are coming back they are not giving up without a big fight in fairness to them a lot of teams have gone home by now because they've been under this pressure 14 has it Sarah Knowles into 7 Seven's going right in a chance of a goal a shot great save another chance of a goal and saved again by the goalie and they're Rachel Magner well well Castle Marker they have been doing very well with it's gone all over the line 14 couldn't keep it in and 14 was uh, Sir Shane Wright but danger there on a few occasions and it's found again if it is Shea and Eskelly she's trying to go right through here she takes the shot but I think it's going to go to the right and wide well you know Farm with a bit of luck could have another goal or two it would be a much tighter game then um, but um, Castle Marta can thank Rachel Magna for a great double save she has been very very 
uh, dependable in there today for Castle Martin. But Fern are coming again. There's no let up with Fern's efforts to, to, to get back into the game. And that's an absolutely super score from the far side over there. I think it could have been Aoife Callan. What a score. Score of the day, I think. 2-7 to 1-4. There's just two kicks in it. There are two minutes. It'll be a tall order to get two goals in two minutes. Over the hinder, Leah Cal picking up the piece for Castle Martin. They have to 1 1, but brilliantly taken by Eve Falk Callan. She's a tidy girl, but by gosh, she's a whole hearted girl. What a great bit of defending, but Castle Martin have won it back. And now it's 14. It's Sir Shane Wright. She's been doing very well since she came in. Sir Shane Wright. Oh, going to the far side. But there, who's there again? Except Grace Hill worked for Farn, forced to kick it long and quick out over the line. Well, it is looking like Castle Martin are going to win this game. There are just about a minute and a, and a quarter left. Maybe a little bit of extra time. If it is shocked, is great. If it Clifford, if it Clifford, going trying to go through. If it Clifford to Sophia Manny. Sophia Manny back out to Ethan Clifford. Ethan Clifford swinging up her chances. She's going to go for a score. She popped it into the danger zone. Great defending by Elio Sullivan Moriarty. Now come Farn down the field. They're not giving up again without another uh, goal. The Castle goals. There's a race on here. But the Castle Martin fullback, I think, has this under control. Has she? Has she? Has she? Oh, she passes it kind of back to Rachel Magner, who gleefully picks it up and kicks it out here under the far side to Casey Kremen. Casey Kremen is going to out the hand up the side here up to 14 but a full bloody tackle there by Anna Moriarty from Farm. they're still not giving up they're fighting to the bitter end if anything well it looks unlikely they're going to emulate their male counterparts in doing the double but they've, they have fought valiantly and they're still trying to get in here but again it's Rachel Magner well uh, Farm can uh, you know uh, go home with their Hells head high, they're still battling on. They could get a goal yet. Another shot. Rachel Magner again in the goals. Great save. But Farn are still coming. And Rachel Magner again tipping it out for a 45. Well, you know, the score says 2 7 to 1 4. I think it's a bit unfair on Farn. Uh, you know, it doesn't tell the full picture. They have pummeled the Castle Martyr goals for the last four or five minutes and but for Rachel Magner they definitely would have a few scores got now they've got one it's a point from the 45 from um, Anna Scully but uh, they need more than that unfortunately goal uh, referee Cullum Lyons 2-7-1-5 is he going to let another bit of play go I hope he does and I hope the fan get one more score it would be justice for their efforts they are so so hearty and so um, you know I'm sure that everyone around um, Oven or um, Aero will be very proud of their efforts here today but they just haven't been quite good enough for the Castle Martin girls who are now on a rampage up the field again and now here they come with uh, with Sir Shane Wright but it's broken up there by Anna Moriarty and Esme O'Hanlon Esme O'Hanlon is fighting for the ball she's won it she's trying to go down the side but Castle Martin are back there and, and they're having one more go they're having one more go it's coming in here with 14 is doing her best to get through 14 being Sarah Knowles and it's a free in a free in and I'm sure it probably will be will it be it's number 9 number 9 is taking it this time Jane uh, number 9 is Lily Mayhealy she drops it in who else has it but it's Rachel Magner and how fitting that Rachel Magner has the last kick of the game the Castle Marker goalkeeper she has thwarted every effort Farron have except one of getting goals here today the final score as you can read now on your screen is Castle Marker 2 goals and 7 that makes 13 Farron 1 goal and 5 that makes 8 a 5 point win for Castle Martyr. They deserve to win, but Farm can go home with their heads held high for putting in a sterling second half. They fought to the nail to reduce the deficit. Unfortunately, it didn't go their way, mainly because of great defending on the Castle Martyr side. But both sets of both schools and both mentors and both um, um, teams can be proud of their efforts here today. Co Gordicus de Castle Martyr, Co Vron Le Farn, and that's it from Parky Creeve for today.
Look this way now. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, you know, you your time. No, you can lift it now. What?